Hi viewers, welcome to the channel and to the second part of the 3D modeling of StudyCAD CAMS 3D exercise. If you haven't seen the first part of the video, then come back to see it. In this video, the modeling is done using the new version of FreeCAD, FreeCAD 1.0, release candidate 1. The modeling will happen in the part-time workflow. I hope you enjoy this video and uh, let's go and see and see how to model this part first of all we need to create a new file just click on this option import file and then save this document i'll save as free card 1.0 rc1 and yes and as you can see we're in the part-time workbench next let's go to our drink page as you can see we have here the 3d model the stop view and the session view like in the previous video, we'll use five operations to complete the design of this model. So let's go to our free card document and then create any body and then we sketch in XY plane first. Okay, here in the sketch our bench in this release candidate version, as you can see, there are improvements here. We have the geometry here, construction geometry, and all dimension constraints here and here in this icon we have the constraint horizontal vertical and this this option here is like uh, artificial intelligence and parallel constraint perpendicular tangent equals merge call and here we have this i don't know what is this and here we have the fillet and now we have the create chamfer tool we have the trim here split extend edge okay external geometry and here we have the offset scale symmetry and these two here okay now let's create our geometry the geometry that we've created here will be this geometry like in the previous video so first we need to create these two cycles here we'll use these two cycles as construction jumps these two cycles and also this merge call line and this merge call line here let's do it go to our schedule first here we need to switch to construction jumps to do that we need to click on this icon and as you can see the color of these jumps change it okay let's create our cycles select cycle 2 click on this origin point through this cycle as you can see now we can set the dimensions in real time for example this free cycle here the diameter is 7 just set 7 and as you can see now we have this click again in this origin point and set a diameter of 90 okay and we have this as you can see so next get this command and let's hide all constraints and next let's use line tool to create this smart column here and also this line so firstly we need to select line tool just click on this origin point and draw this line and the same here for this line okay and now we have this the next thing to do is to set the angles like you did in the previous video so what you do we need to select an angle here look for this option constraint angle for this first color axis and this line here will set 360 sorry 306 divided by 3 and you get 120 degrees now this first color axis and this line here will set 6 degrees okay now hide all constraints and now we're able to create our geometry so okay next let's switch to the normal geometry and then use arc tool to create this arc here just click in this cycle and draw this arc next select line tool and create a line here and next use the arc tool again just click in this end point here will be the center point of this arc here and then click in this end point and draw this arc next select line tool create this line here select arc again and now just click here in this smart call line and draw this arc okay now we have this and the next step is to set tangent constraints here for these points 
select this point tangent constraint and the same here and here and here in this point okay and next let's select equal constraint and make these two arcs equal okay now we have this next let's use this constraint here to constrain this point in this first car axis the center point in this first car axis and now this center point in this cycle and it's okay two degrees of freedom now we need to set the roots of these arcs so we can use just click here and click on this arc and the root of this arc is 8 millimeters as we can see set 8 set 8 millimeters and for this arc here we have a range of 30 just click here and set 30 millimeters and we have this double click here and as you can see this the sketch is full constrained but before we leave this sketch we need to close this wire here to do that we can use the line tool to select the line tool and create a line in these two points and another line in these two points and skip two times press home and now that you have this sketch here our first operation will be the pad tool just click on pad tool and change length to 22 millimeters and enter and now we have our result as you can see and our next step is to create a polar pattern of this salt here to get these three occurrence so what do you do we need to go to the model tip select the pad operation and then polar pattern tool this tool here here we only need to change the number of occurrence to three and okay as you can see we have this and now that we have this part here the next step is to subtract material for that we will first create a sketch and then use the groove tool to remove material so what you do we create a new sketch can be in the x plane and here we need to switch to the session view and next use the pollen tool to trace this geometry okay just like this and make this line horizontal next we set the dimensions next we'll set the dimensions of this sketch here so first we can start by making these two lines here equal and next select constraint angle this option and set the angle between these two lines here to 22 degrees as we can see here set 22 and enter escape and just drag this point like so uh, next select this constraint again and now what you do we set a dimension for this line here as you can see here we have a length of 5.2 set this dimension and enter and now the distance between the center point sorry and now we set uh, what's the problem here Okay, and now just click here and select constraint horizontal distance. The distance here will set the half of 7, 35 plus 8 millimeters, the roots of this arc here. Okay, 35 plus 8 and we get 43 millimeters and now we have 2 degrees of freedom. Let's set the size of this length here, let's set for example 15 millimeters. And now the distance from this point to this point as you can see we have a diameter of 22 for this cycle so the length here must be 11 the half of 22 and now we have this sketch full constrained sketch two times and then select the groove tool and as you can see we have this finish this operation and we have this okay the next thing to do is to create this hole and also this hole here. To do that, we'll need to create a sketch in this top face here. Let's do that. Just select this face and create a new sketch. Now here, just select the cycle tool and create a cycle in the origin point. Let's add a diameter 
as you can see here we have 16 start 16 for the diamond of the cycle and two and now let's use this tool accelerant tool and try to get the center point of this arc here as you can see it's not working so ctrl z this operation and just create a cycle in the vertical axis set a diameter of 4 4.5 okay in this way and next to full constraint this what you need to do is to set the distance between this origin point to the center point to do that we can select this tool here and just click in this center point and we set the distance which is 35 millimeters and I'll scale two times and next and next create a pocket here we we'll need to set we we'll need to change the type to charcoal and okay and this, and as you can see we we'll have these two holes let's create a new sketch in this face again okay and now the intention of this sketch is to create this hole okay let's select external jump tool and try to get a center point and as you can see it's not working ctrl z select cycle tool create a cycle in the vertical axis and the diameter must be eight millimeters and now let's use this question here just click in the center point and we set the distance from the region point to the center point 35 millimeters and now skip two times and let's create a pocket now here we need to put a formula must be 22 minus 4 millimeters this thickness so 22 minus 4 and then 2 and we have this as you can see and now that we have this the next step is to create this pocket as you can see here select this face and create a new sketch again and now choose zoom in okay and let's select the external jump tool and try to get a center point and as you can see now it's working okay next let's select arc tool and try to create these arc geometries just click here in the center point and create this arc here click here and create this arc and let's use lane tool to connect these arcs in this way okay and next let's create fillets like in this top view just select fillet tool and create the fillets okay and we have this now skip select these all arcs and we have to make them equal set equal constraint okay and next we can set the rest of this arc just click here in this tool click in this arc and set one millimeters as you can see okay now we have this and next let's use let's click here and use constraint horizontal make these two center points horizontal and also these two center points horizontal okay now just drag this sorry drag this next let's set the rates of this arc just click in this icon and click in this arc and the rate here must be three millimeters this distance plus the half of eight millimeters the amount of this cycle so we'll set three plus four and we get seven and this arc here we know the radius is one milli is eleven okay now let's drag this point here let's drag this lines and hide all the missions as you can see we have two degrees of freedom so our next step is to create this thickness here two millimeters so let's select external geometry tool and extract this edge and try to apply a parallel constraint between this line and this edge select parallel and now these two lines here and as you can see it's not working so we'll follow the same idea like in the previous video we'll create a construction line here 
two construction lines and we'll be able to set this thickness here so what you do first first you need to change these geometries to construction geometries and then select line tool create a line in these two points just click in this line here and now in this line okay next click in this tool set three millimeters okay set three millimeters okay and next use perpendicular constraint make these two lines perpendicular and as you can see now we have this in the correct way skip two times and next let's create a pocket now for the length we need to set 22 minus the thickness three millimeters and enter and as you can see now we have this okay next let's create the fillet here select this face and now fillet tool set one millimeters as you can see is one here and enter next select this edge and create another fillet one millimeters okay and uh, also select this edge here and we created this fillet i think is 0.5 millimeters select fillet and set 0.5 and enter and now we have this okay now that we have this the next step is to create a polar pattern to get these holes and pockets in these two occurrence okay so for that we need to go to the model tip and start the solution here in this pocket and now click shift and select this less operation and now pull a pattern okay and what you need to do here is to increase the occurrence to three and as you can see we have this just click ok and now just press home and the next step is to create this fillet here the radius as you can see is one millimeters here so just select this edge and now fillet tool and okay as you can see viewers we finish the design of this model so it's very easy to design in the new version of ricard 1.0 rc1 there are books we know but we can still use this so thank you for watching this video if you find this video useful please leave a like a comment and share this video with your friends also if you have a doubt and drink something a 3d model you can contact me in the comment section and ask for help thank you for watching if you want to support the content of this channel there's a link in the description of this video